Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth from the Community Library. And for February's Book Buzz, I'm going to be talking about um, just a few books for Black History Month. Um, and instead of focusing on probably like the titles that we always hear about during Black History Month, I wanted to focus on um, books about different kinds of Black lives. Um, and also books that show kind of all aspects. So there's some that are just romance, sci-fi, um, that cover all aspects. Because I feel when we do this, we can get a bigger picture and more understanding when we read. So the first title is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is a contemporary romance. Um, it's part of a three book series that follows the Brown sisters. And the first book follows Chloe Brown. Um, she's emerging from a life-threatening illness. Um, she's fiercely organized, but she's kind of unfulfilled. So um, she, in the beginning of the book, she creates a bucket list um, and somehow recruits a mysterious artist to help her establish meaning in her life by completing these tasks. Um, like I said, it's kind of em enemies to lovers a little bit. It's a romantic comedy. It's funny and moving, and um, it's just a great series to check out. So the next book I wanted to talk about is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. This is a young adult book. It's contemporary. Um, so it follows her main character, Liz Lighty, who never really felt like she fit in in her Midwestern, predominantly white, middle-class town. So she's trying to get out of this town, and with part of it is attending this really prestigious Pennington College. Um, but she really needs the financial aid, and it's suddenly pulled out from under her. Um, she's kind of grappling with the decision of running for prom queen. She never thought she would do this, but her high school has a really prestigious and kind of infamous prom where the queen gets a $10,000 scholarship. Um, so this is really um, character driven. We get to follow all the characters as they're in this awkward time of transitioning out of adulthood um, or into adulthood from high school. Um, and it's a feel good pick. Don't be afraid of reading some young adult if you're an adult. So the next book is Bluebird Bluebird by Etta Kalak. Um, this is set in a rural East Texas town. Um, it's kind of a mystery. So American Texas Ranger Darren Matthews has to travel to this um, rural East Texas town just to try and solve this murder. Um, and it kind of spirals and he discovers things that are more complex than they seem. Um, this one was enjoyed by our Make Mine a Mystery book discussion. They really liked this. Um, it's really cinematic because the author Attica Locke wrote for the TV show Empire. Um, it's really immersed in the history of the small town as well as the complicated relationship relationships of the people living there. The next book is actually a cookbook. So this is Jubilee Recipes from Two Centuries of African-American Cooking by Tony Tipton Martin. Um, through recipes and stories, we cook along with pioneering figures from enslaved chefs to middle and upper class writers and entrepreneurs. So there's more than 100 recipes um, that show the roots of African-American cooking, deeply beautiful, culturally diverse. Um, so I'm actually, um, you wouldn't think to just read a cookbook, but um, there's really more than just recipes. Um, this cookbook in particular has a lot of history and stories that trace the 200 years of cooking that she's trying to cover. Um, it's really just a culinary celebration. The next book is Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James. So this is kind of an epic fantasy, and it's the first in a trilogy. Um, so our main character is hired to find a mysterious boy who disappeared three years before. And it follows the mercenary as he joins a search party that is quickly targeted by deadly creatures. Um, so this really has been um, kind of described as the African Game of Thrones. So that'll kind of tell you who this is for or if you'd like this book. It's really for people who are looking for a challenge in their fantasy. Or um, people who liked Black Panther, that kind of lore and um, mythology. And especially exciting is the second book in the trilogy, Moon Witch Spider King, comes out on the 15th of February. And the last book I wanted to talk about is A Little Devil in America, Notes in Praise of Black Performance by Hanif Adurakib. 
Um, so this is a nonfiction book that um, talks about all modes and methods of black performance. Um, so he really, it's kind of almost like a part memoir, part essay collection or criticism. Um, so it's centered on black artists all across the spectrum, like Michael Jackson, Josephine Baker, even minstrel performers. Um, and it's really about observations on race and culture. Um, so it considers critiques and also praises performance. Um, and this one was also a finalist for the National Book Award in 2021. Um, so it is definitely an interesting pick to check out. And that's all I had for today. I hope um, you found a pick that might be interesting for you to check out. We also have a collection on Hoopla that you can look at for ebooks and audiobooks. Um, and thanks for watching.